Good morning, Seneca Valley. It's Thursday, March 28th, which means that it's National Something on a Stick Day, which is an actual real holiday. You can look it up. So uh, today we're going to be celebrating foods that you can put on a stick. We've got some recipe videos going behind us, and uh, we're going to be eating marshmallows on a on stick. On a stick. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Let's get into these announcements. This week, from Monday to Friday, Key Club is holding a fundraiser contest and fourth period classes to raise money for the March of Dimes. The class will be with the most money raised per person will have a pretzel party on April 4th with the soft pretzels from the Philly Pretzel Factory. Any ninth grade student who is interested in being on IHS Student Council next year should complete an application to be a member by April 4th. Applications can be found by scanning the QR code that is on the Student Council application posters that are hanging around the school. Any student who is interested in running for an officer position should include that information on the application. See Ms. Shaheen in room 111 with any questions. Recently, free agency in the NFL started, and many of the changes will affect the Steelers and the AFC North. Let's see what Aaron has to say about next season. Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Yeager. I'm NFL free agency, well, more about the AFC North division. Steelers, we got rid of Tony Brown, Le'Veon Bell is out of here. Jesse James, he's gone. LJ Fort, he gone. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Marcus Gilbert, oh yeah, you're gone too, by the way. Let's talk about our pickups in the free agency. So the pickups in our free agency are three main players. Two defense, one offense. Now, let's talk about our offense that Big Ben will be throwing to. He's a wide receiver from Jacksonville, and his name is Dante Moncrief. Now, let's go on our defense side of the ball. We got an inside linebacker called Mark Barron, played for the Rams for his whole career. We picked up a corner from the Kansas City Chiefs, Steven Nelson. Got four interceptions last year. Great, great defensive player. Now, to the Cleveland Browns. Those are some bad dudes. And I mean bad dudes at the moment. They got a great offense, a great defense. They turned into the gar the laughing stock of the NFL to holy crap, we actually gotta be scared of them. Now, let's talk about the Ravens. They got rid of their defense. They're, they're they don't know what they're doing anymore. They're like, well we we won the division once, let's just give it to somebody else, right? So they're trying to rebuild ish on their defense side. Joe Flacco, they got rid of him. Um, now let's talk about the Bengals. Bengals are literally scratching everything. They're trying to get rid of everybody except their wide receiver AJ Green and Andy Dalton. I don't know why they want to keep Andy Dalton, but they're gonna keep him. Back to the Cleveland Browns real fast. Everybody's gonna say they're gonna win, but every Brown fan at the moment is like, we're going through the Super Bowl. But I'm like, I hope you don't. <laughs> it's a scary thought. I cannot live in a world where the Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl. You know how scary that is for a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? Very scary. So, back to you guys at the office. Bye. Thanks, Aaron, for the insight of next AFC North season. Aim, aim for the Future from CCBC is hosting a free aviation field trip to the Butler County Airport on Friday, April 12th. See Mr. Brown in the SHS for more details. The registration deadline is Friday, March 29th. The Spring Blood Drive will be this Friday, March 29th in the SAS gym. If you haven't already, you can still sign up to donate blood and save up to three lives. Stop in the office for the QR code and URL or see Miss Bonastalli in room 117. Let's see what's for lunch. Looks like the cafeteria is not in the mood of national food on a stick day. I don't think you can put pasta on a stick, but whatever. You can try. You could try. After advancing through two phases of online competition, the Seneca Valley High School JROTC academic team, composed of Caleb Alters, Diego Ambriz, Marina Price, and Emma Stitzenberg, will compete at the championship event in Washington, D.C., the 2019 U.S. Army JROTC Academic Bowl championship will be held at the Catholic University of America in June. This event is sponsored by the U.S. Army Cadet Command and is conducted by the College Options Foundation. Seneca Valley's team earned top scores out of the 1,411 Army JROTC teams from around the world. The team is one of only 32 Army JROTC academic teams in the nation to advance to the final competition, which includes an all-expense paid trip to the championship event in D.C. Thanks for watching, Seneca Valley. Have a great rest of your day.
Stop, 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 stop,